the night. I am Batman. I'm a huge Batman fan. I love watching the animated shows back in the 90s every Saturday on WB. I watched it every Saturday, recorded on VHS tapes. Yeah, I said it, VHS tapes. I'm kind of showing my age though, but, but I don't care. But Kevin Conroy for me really transcended the voice of Batman. I kind of, I, I, I felt, I felt weird when somebody else played Batman and Kevin Conroy's voice, Kevin Conroy's voice did not come out, did not come out. I felt kind of weird with that. If it's possible, we can have Kristen Bell play Batman and have Kevin Conroy's voice come out of him, that would be perfect. Batman Begins is pretty much the origin story of Batman, hence the name. And what the 1989 version did, even though it was great, it had a really, it had a really established Batman who he actually was. And in this movie, we see the very origins of Batman from childhood into adulthood and how he became the actual Batman legend we know today. And that's why I like how Chris Nolan told the story. Chris Nolan, Christopher Nolan told a story in a dark, deep version. He can always tell a story, and he doesn't fail in that aspect. And he had a good cast in this movie. He had Morgan Freeman, Liam Neeson, Kristen Bell, and, yes, Katie Holmes. She was one of the not-so-much prominent actors. Liam Neeson, for me, always brings a sense of grace to film. No matter what movie or what role he does, he brings some type of class. And I, I, don't, I don't know, but he is just a great actor, no matter what role he does. I like about Batman Begins is that it took the Batman legend from Joe Schumacher's versions, from Batman and Robin and um, Batman Forever. They were gimmicky, funny, and unbalanced. And what Christopher Nolan did, he brought the Batman legend back to where it needed to, where it needed to be. Dark tone, seriousness. And not and not messing around when it came to the story, and that's why I think Chris Nolan is one of the greatest is one of the great storytellers of all time as a director. And Batman Begins showed us what he proved. In movies, there are a lot of lines we can quote, like Terminator, I'll be back. Uh, we got Die Hard, you be Kaye. But in this movie, there's a line personally for me. I just thought it was a great line. The line that did it for me in this movie is he said, "I won't kill you." But I don't have to save you. I don't know. That, I don't know. But that's just me. That line right there was great. I mean, I love that line to the tenth degree. I mean, that dialogue right there really just made it the movie more better. I think Christopher Nolan really brought Batman back to respectability after since the after the last two movies we got in the nineties, and he did an excellent job with the story, well placed action. Casting was good aside from Katie Holmes, but everything was spot on. And I think it's a great origin story to start off the Batman legend. That's why I'm going to give Batman Begins a good three and a half out of four stars. It's a great origin story and a great movie in general. And so if you like this review, please rate, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and this help. And until next time, Movie Nation.